Hello and thank you for tuning in to the MacDesk Floor Report, your very first for 2012. I'm Rebecca Darst from the MacDesk speaking to you from the NYSE trading floor. Futures were looking guardedly higher when we got to the floor today and we thought we might get a lift from that better than expected jobs number. Analysts had been looking for a slight rise in the headline employment rate for December and said we declined a little as non-farm payrolls rose by 200,000 against the consensus expectation of 150,000 payrolls. Futures got a short-term bump higher along with the dollar which had been treading water around the uh, 128 level against the euro for much of the pre-market. The jobs number sent the euro dollar cross sharply below that level and interestingly we've seen the cross continue to weaken having bottomed out at 127.06 just before 10 a.m. with the dollar strengthening uh, for a second straight day. The cross hit a 15-month low yesterday. Um, and stocks ha have been giving up their gains during that period. A couple of explanations for this. First is that traders may be looking for more momentum in the jobs number and more definitive signs of sustainable growth. The second is that whatever green shoots may be emerging from the job market have taken some bets of further quantitative easing from the Fed off the table. This is going to be less stock supportive and more dollar supportive. Uh, commodities are moderately weaker this morning with WTI crude down about 1% at 101 per barrel. Gold is fairly resilient, however, trading just south of the flat line at 1616.56 per troy ounce. Interestingly, 10 out of 22 analysts surveyed by Bloomberg this morning said they were short-term bullish on gold, primarily as a safe haven play. Which brings us to an update on some option activity in the Gold Trust ETF, that's ticker GLD, that we highlighted in the midday yesterday. A big, big trade involving September 225 calls. Looked like it hit the bid. We've confirmed this morning that this was a buyer-initiated trade for a customer account, so a big bullish bet on gold. The strike is 42% out of the money, so even with GLD down more than 30 bucks since its September highs, someone's stepping up to make a big uh, New Year bet on a rebound for gold prices. We've also seen some interesting directional activity in the Russia ETF. This is the Market Vectors Russia Fund, ticker RSX. The stock is trading right around the $27 level, about 17 bucks off its highs of last April. And while, we, while we've heard some analysts looking at Russia stocks as a value play, the ETF activity that showed up this morning showed a bearish strategy in play. Uh, late in the day yesterday, a trader here sold May $32 calls on the ETF and bought put spreads that make their maximum profit with a decline of around 27% for the Russia ETF by May. In all, this trade involved around 150,000 lots, which is 40% of the total open interest in the ETF overall. It's worth mentioning that this, uh, this ETF has a strong sector weighting in oil and gas names, so there may be a commodity-based rationale for this trade as well. VIX is creeping a little higher right now, last at 21.69. For more on the markets, check your inbox at 1 p.m. for the midday. For now, that's it for me, Rebecca Darst, for the MacDesk Flow Report.